Hi guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. So Instagram stories is kind of having a moment right now. I feel like everybody has hopped on the bandwagon. Snapchat is out for the majority of people and stories are in. I've been using stories so much lately for getting people over to my videos, getting people over to my podcast episodes, and just communicating with my following. I started out by just doing like your standard story and like goofy things and whatever, but I've slowly started to get a little bit more profesh, although the, the casual stuff definitely still has place, don't get me wrong. But I've started to get a little bit more creative and professional with my stories, and I've recently discovered five hacks that have seriously changed the game for me. Number one, I just discovered this one this week and my jaw dropped when I found out about it. So Instagram gives you this sort of preset lot of color options for your text and for your drawings and all of that. But did you know that you can change it to match up with your custom brand colors? So here's how you do it. Okay, so this one is admittedly a little bit on the more complicated side, but it's worth it, I promise. So first thing you're gonna wanna do is grab the hex code. So this is a good website, color-hex.com to find different color palettes and things like that. So let's just pretend I want this dusty rose color. I'm gonna open the picture that I wanna add to my story up in PicMonkey. So we'll pretend this is it. Instagram stories is a vertical format. So these sides right here are not going to be included in the picture. They're gonna be cropped out. So, what I'm gonna do is I'm just going to add a little swatch of the color somewhere in the area that's not gonna be included in the picture. And in PicMonkey, you just click on that and paste the hex color in, and there you go. And then you just export this and send it to your phone, and I'll show you what to do with it next. Now, you might be wondering, well, what if I don't have a horizontal picture like this and I want to use like a vertical picture, a square picture to add to my story? So what you'll do in that case is you'll just do the same thing. You'll get a swatch of the color. And what you're gonna do is you're gonna put this somewhere where you're going to end up putting the text or the drawing over top of it. So you wanna make sure that this is like pretty small, but still, visible and will be picked up. So what you'll do now, you'll send those pictures to yourself and then you'll go ahead and open them up in your story, obviously. So let's start with this one. We'll add some text here, like we'll start typing, um, Jen Beauty was so fun. And I want to make this that style, but I wanna make it in that pink color. So what you're gonna do is you're going to hover over these colors. You're gonna put your finger on it there and then you're gonna drag up to that little swatch that you added and boom. And then you just gotta drag it over. You can also do this for like any color. So if I wanted to match my skin tone exactly or my hair color or a shirt that I was wearing exactly, you can just drag anywhere over the image and match up the color. And then doing it from this option is a little bit different. What you're gonna wanna do is squeeze with your finger so you can't see my fingers but I'm just taking my two like my pointer finger and my middle finger and squeezing this out and then you're going to do the same thing and then you're just going to do the same thing obviously over there click done and then you just do the same thing with your fingers you just like squeeze in and that will um, delete that little swatch and that's how you do it so this next hack has helped me so much with getting people over to my videos and to my podcast episodes. It's a screen record on the iPhone. It's so simple. I have figured out how to screen record using my computer a long time ago. You have to connect it to the lightning cable and yada, yada, yada. And it's great, it works, but it is kind of a process. So it wasn't something that I did very often. However, it's actually incredibly easy to screen record from your iPhone. I have the iPhone 7 Plus and it works just fine. So what I've been doing is I've been just screen recording my podcast playing or a video playing and like popping it into Instagram stories and it's already sized perfectly for a phone since it's playing on a phone and it records the sound and everything. So to record your own screen, you just go to your settings, then you go to your control center and you click on customize controls. And then these are all of the different things that you have on your control center. You can see that screen recording is already added to mine, but I had to manually add it. So yeah, it should just be in one of these sections right here and just click on it. Once you add it, 
all you got to do, open up whatever it is that you want to record. So let's say that I want to record a one of my podcast episodes. All you'll do is you'll swipe up. It's not going to let me do it since I'm recording onto a computer via QuickTime right now. But if I wasn't, you could just click on this little circle here and it will give you a countdown. It will count down three, two, one, and then it will start recording. And then to stop recording it, you just tap like up here and then it, it will save just like a video. Um, into your files and then you can just add it to your story by swiping up and adding it in and it will play with the audio and everything. Canvas fill. So I've been wondering how people were doing that really cool like the entire screen is pink but I'm just gonna do a little swipe preview with the eraser tool and I was able to do it a couple times but I literally was scribbling the color with my finger over the whole screen. I was like, there has to be an easier way. And there is. <laughs> this is so easy, you're going to love it. So all you gotta do is click on the little pen and find the color that you want to um, color your whole canvas or screen in with. I'll just choose this pink color and then hold the screen. <laughs> it's literally that simple um, and then to do some of the cool things that I've seen people doing where they're doing like the little preview uh, just go up to the eraser tool which is right here you can play around with the width of the eraser with this little slider and then you can just do like a little doodle that's maybe a little bit too small so let's go up here because you want to do like a little preview of the image so yeah and then you can just type like see the full image on my feed and rumor has it, Instagram is coming up with a way to embed pictures into your story very soon. So hopefully you'll only need to use this workaround for a little while longer. This one is not so much a tip for publishing, but just for you to know, I guess. A lot of people may not know this, but you know, I have over 3,000 people following me on Instagram and Instagram stories can be kind of personal sometimes. Sometimes I wanna share just like a funny moment with me and my boyfriend or with my family when I go home. And I don't necessarily always want everybody on my feed to see that for whatever reason. You can actually hide people from your Instagram stories. It takes like three clicks. The person doesn't get notified when you do it. So it's kind of just like, uh, hiding someone's posts on Facebook or something like that like they're not gonna know about it so it just gives you a little bit of peace of mind if there's somebody on there maybe you know a family member or a friend that you're not really getting along with and maybe you don't want them to know or if you're like surprising someone there's a couple ways to do this the easiest way for me is just to go and like I'm adding a new story and click on this little gear icon in the top left and then right here where you'll see hide story from, you'll just click on that. I'm not gonna click on it because it's gonna bring up all of my followers, names and stuff, but you just click on it and select them from a list. Um, and that way they'll never get notified when you upload a live video, they won't be able to see your stories. The one thing to keep in mind with this is, you know, if you guys have mutual friends, they might be like, oh, did you see Latasha's story the other day? And they'll be like, oh no. And if they go to your profile and notice, that's really the only way that they'll be able to see that they can't see your story. Instagram's recently put out a bunch of different text options, so this one might not be quite as relevant anymore, but sometimes it is still hard to see the text. Like it doesn't really pop out if you have like a certain color palette for your photo. And so one thing that I like to do is use the drop shadow option. Well, it's not really an option, it's a hack. So I like to do this sometimes just because it makes the text pop out a little bit and it's just a little bit different so you're not using like the same text and font options as everybody else's. So for this, what you're gonna wanna do is you're going to just type the same text in the same font at the same size <laughs> twice. And I think it looks best in capital letters. So Gen Beauty in white, Gen Beauty in black. And then you'll just layer them over each other. So to bring one forward and bring one back, the text that will be in the front is the whichever one that you touch last. So if you want the white to be in front, you'll just like bring that down and then you can like move them around if that makes sense. And you'll just sort of line them up in a way that slightly highlights like that. The white doesn't really look great since it's um against a white background. So let me show you with maybe pink. That looks a little cooler. So then it gives that outline so you can actually really see the text and it really pops out. 
So yeah, you can just play around with different ways to style it. And it's a super easy DIY way to just make your font stand out a little bit. So I hope that these hacks were helpful for you. Let me know in the comments if any of these surprised you or if you know of any others that I should know about. I would love to hear about them. And make sure to thumbs up this video if it was helpful. Subscribe if you haven't yet. And I will see you guys soon in my next video. Bye.